If a climber presents with palmar nodules in their hand, mostly the ring finger, then followed potentially by the little and middle fingers, they may have something called Dupuytren's contracture. And this is typically not painful, and it may potentially be genetic. Now there are different mechanisms and different hypotheses for how this may occur. One hypothesis is the increased prevalence in rock climbers may be from this repetitive trauma to the palmar fascia. And maybe rock climbing can predispose people to Dupuytren's disease. This is just theoretical. Now the palmar fascia changes from collagen type 1 to collagen type 3, which is significantly thicker, and these nodules start appearing in the palm. This can further then progress to decrease range of motion, making it very difficult for climbers to fully extend their fingers. As you can see from this image, observation is one of the best ways to determine whether or not someone has a Dupuytren's contracture. But in addition to observation, research has been performed on rock climbers specifically to develop a self-diagnostic tool for climbers. In this study by Pervalesco and colleagues, they looked at developing a self-diagnostic tool for climbers to identify Dupuytren's contracture. The study involved 61 climbers, 46 men and 15 women, with a mean age of 32. Using the self-diagnostic tool, 8.2% of the climbers in the study had a clinical diagnosis of Dupuytren's contracture, and there were no false negatives, although there were three false positives in the sample. Based on these results, the sensitivity of the self-diagnostic tool in this sample was 100%, and its specificity was 94.9%, which means this questionnaire is an accurate and precise self-diagnostic tool specifically for rock climbers to determine the diagnosis of Dupuytren's disease. So what were the four questions in this tool? Well, the first one, do you already have Dupuytren's disease diagnosed by a doctor? The second one, do you have any flexion deformity in one or more of your fingers? And this can be performed by the flat hand test. And there's an image, as you can see, of the flat hand test, placing your hands flat on the table to determine if you can fully press your hands into the table. And if there's a difference between a finger or a hand. The third question, can you notice or see on both of your palms or fingers nodules related to those in these pictures? And there's a visual picture, as you can see, of a hand with a Dupuytren's contracture. And the affected area does not need to be identical to the same area in the picture of the image. And finally, the fourth question, do you suffer any connective tissue disorders diagnosed by a doctor? And if yes, what kind? So this is a diagnostic tool that climbers can use on themselves. They can compare and contrast to the different tests as well as the pictures to determine if they have Dupuytren's disease. Now, in addition to this research, another research study was very interesting related to Dupuytren's disease. This study was performed by Baletta and colleagues, and it specifically looked at Dupuytren's and its influence of climbing on the disease process. In this study, there were two twins. Twin one was a secondary school teacher who started high intensity climbing at the age of 22. A few months later, a first nodule appeared in his left palm. At the time of the study, at age 34, he had two palmar nodules in the left hand and one on the right. The second twin is a psychologist who runs marathons and has no nodules in his hands. The twins have no family history of Dupuytren's disease and no serious illnesses. Twin one is a moderate drinker and twin two has a dust mite allergy and asthma. Now this was an interesting study, but a big limitation to the study was it's a small sample size, a size of just two. But there's strong evidence that there's an inherited susceptibility to Dupuytren's disease. So by studying identical twins, we can gain some more knowledge and information into studying diseases with genetic influences. And in particular, this was a fun study because it related to rock climbing. One of the twins was a rock climber and they developed some Dupuytren's disease in their hand. So something to think about as it relates to genetic conditions and Dupuytren's disease.